Hi everyone, I'm Ali, part of Hope Church in Seven Oaks, um, and I'm just here with you today to share a few thoughts on last Sunday's message in our summer series, uh, looking at Joshua, particularly at chapter three. And if you missed it, you really missed out on a great morning, including our first uh, socially distanced baptism, uh, another great cartoon, an amazing Lego animation, uh, not to mention a really great message from Herman and Angie, all based on the story of the Israelites crossing the River Jordan. And I was really struck by a few things uh, that I just wanted to share with you. Firstly, that we will all face challenges. Now, the Israelites were confronted with a torrent of a river uh, with no obvious way to cross it to reach the other side. Um, and they must have been really disheartened. And we all have times like that in our lives. Um, some of those challenges are can be quite big. Uh, some of them are much smaller. But in both senses, um, learning what to do when we're in those situations helps us to mature um, as Christians. Uh, what we learn as we go through those times is really important. And secondly, was that we need patience. Now, the Israelites had to wait. Uh, they were watching that river for three days. Um, and that might not have seemed very long to some of them because they had spent 40 years um, in the desert. But I think there would have been quite a number uh, who found the waiting really difficult as the promised land was so close. It was just there over the other side of the river. And how many budding engineers do you think were dreaming of how they could build a bridge across overnight? I don't know about you, but there have been many times in my life where I've had to wait. Um, I've not known what God's plan for me was. Um, sometimes the wait is much longer than three days. It might be weeks, it might be months, and in some cases it can be years. And again, it's learning to, to wait for God's timing. Whilst it's not easy, it is a part of our Christian life. And finally, I felt that this chapter really highlighted the need to me to follow God with faith. Now, the Israelites had to step into the Jordan River. They had to follow God in the Ark of the Covenant. And again, so wonderfully illustrated in the Lego reenactment. You have got to see it if you haven't seen it already. Um, but the Israelites had to have faith that God would repeat the miracle of the parting of the Red Sea. And he did. And so it reminded me that I need to remember at all times uh, how God has been faithful to me in the past. Um, I need to remember to trust in him, um, that he will be faithful, uh, that he will lead me on the path that he has for me uh, in the future and that he will help me to face any challenges that are in front of me. So. I really hope that you've uh, taken some things out of the sermon as well, uh, that you are dwelling on it this week, that you are spending time maybe rereading the chapter, reading on ahead to the next instalment. Um, and we'll be back on Sunday where we'll be looking at, uh, uh, at the time once Joshua and the Israelites have crossed into the promised land. So hopefully uh, we, I will see you there. Um, and in the meantime, I hope you have a really great week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.